Hey everybody, we're live. How's it going? Hi. Hi. I'm <laughs> you didn't get rid of me that easy. Hi. <laughs> Guess he's back. So okay again. So this week uh we're just doing a little bit of a conversation about uh the two team takedown tournament, how it's going, and uh we also have some uh future stuff for Mon monthly one shots. Yeah, we got monthly one shots, and then of course there's some other tournaments going on out there that we'll do a little update on. So we'll, we'll hit uh, on. Yep, <laughs> we'll do a little update on. <laughs> oh man, my so. computer is running slow since I'm All right. making that video. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well. I know. This is the life of awesome content. <laughs> the life of a content creator. <laughs> messy, messy, messy. All right. Um, messy, all right. Messy. So, <laughs> as everyone probably knows, and as you can see in Robert's little uh, picture behind him, uh, we're in the final round of the two team takedown. Uh, someone call it the final countdown. I mean, yeah, someone did. I, I don't, some a hole did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, do you want to call out the last uh, round four, how the matchups went, Robert? I would if Challenge would work right from our website. Right. Well, I can do it if need be. Yeah, you do it because it's being mean to me right now. All right, as it well, should. There, there's only two that I remember off the top of my head, so. Well, good thing I have this handy-dandy uh, list letting me know. Yep, there's this wonderful thing called a website that has all the data for us. So we have uh, the first matchup that we had was Peter VDV over Chazcast 2 1. Comics Mike mm -hmm. uh, lost to Ben Said Scott uh, 2 1. Yort oh. over Joe, Joel Rost 2 0. Whip It Good over Jordo 2 0. That was our. I believe our, it's Whipped Good, not Whip It. Whipped Good, you know. There's there's letters and numbers in there. It's it's hard. Yeah. Um. And that was the. I like saying whip it good though. Yeah. I know. I I want the Devo song playing every time we do that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that for the uh, type of dog. A whip it. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's not a good though. Uh. But a uh, <laughs> whip it. Uh. And then that was to, for the semifinals to see who played in the finals. Uh. Yep. And that was that was one of the the top matches there. And then uh, we had a literal communist versus Jackalope Spam. Uh, Jackalope Spam took that 2-0. Uh, CCM quadruple 07 oh, 2 one over Super K underscore 16. Um, Torin Verez uh, dropped 2-0 to J Lucero. Raw Travel uh, dropped 1-2 to M Brewer underscore SL. And then for the uh, other semifinal match, Ronathan PXPX took it over Elliot. Uh, to uh, it was two one in that matchup, that rounded out our top our uh, round four. So yeah. So, now, unfortunately, uh, we did have it. we we did have a couple of uh, matches during that round that uh, the participants weren't able to play in due to personal issues. So we, uh, you know, we we contacted the people and the. Uh, we, you know, we were able to come to an agreement on a win versus a win and loss versus a, uh, a tie for both uh, both part participants. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, not not always the greatest of circumstances, but, you know, that's why we gave some people some extra time. Uh, but, yeah, so we've got uh, into round five uh, kind of sitting above Rob's uh, head there, our top match. Uh, we've got Top Whipped Man Good is. versus Ronathan PXPX, who's uh, currently in chat with us. Yep. So what's up, Ronathan? So we actually already have a matchup completed too. Yep. Yep. Uh, Elliot and uh, Ben said Scott got their uh, their match already in. So um, one Ben said Scott took that two one over Elliot. Awesome. Yeah, like really close games from the hear of it too. Thank you. Yeah, for, for that match. Thank you for uh, <laughs> Comics Mike for stepping in and clarifying time and uh, rules for that. Appreciate it. Anyone? Uh, that... was, I thought it was Peter that did that. Peter? But yeah, okay, it might have been Peter. Uh, my apologies. Yeah. My apologies. But yeah. 
Uh, yeah. I'm a fail. I know. I'm a fail. Uh, either way, we appreciate it. Um, yeah, stuff is going on. <laughs> I didn't check it before it got to that point, so my apologies. So. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just run through the round five uh, matches. So we have CCM quadruple seven playing M Brewer underscore SL. Comics Mike taking on Jackalope Spam. Joe Rast versus Chaz Cast. Jordo 2K3 playing Jay Lucero. Boz playing Super K16. Torin Varez versus a literal communist. Yort versus Peter DVD or Peter VDV. Uh, and yeah, like uh, Ryan just said, Ronathan PXPX versus Whip It Good for that championship round. Hey, Reg. How are you see? Hey, nice Reg. seeing you here tonight. I hope you're not referring to What's me up? as a gentleman. <laughs> Chris is the gentlest of men. No, no. <laughs> I have a re reputation Don't let to the uphold. Bandana fool him. <laughs> I'm, I'm present, he Chris. You or the Dementors will get them. The <laughs> the they were the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, so that's the uh, two team takedown legacy tournament, uh -huh. summer mm -hmm. legacy. Yep. And so, that's just as a reminder to everyone, the two teams off of the winning players teams get added to the legacy ban list which is what our Invitational will be played on. So. Yeah, so look for those uh, those uh, those characters on that team or, or any dice or cards on that team to be banned. Uh, yeah. So. Um, all right. And this one doesn't have IG in it, right? No, no this one did IG not have. This had does not have in, uh, Infinity Gauntlet. I see IG and my brain goes Instagram and I, uh, I actually have caught myself saying Instagram a couple of times instead of Infinity Gauntlet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, we did not allow uh, Infinity Gauntlet for this one. So, um, yeah. No, I'm not a crip. Yeah. Oro, you missed it. He crip walked all the way into the scene. Into <laughs> should have been your scene. <laughs> I have to wear a bandana, otherwise my hair my hair is just getting too ridiculous. I haven't gotten a haircut. I need to get one, but yeah. Uh, and he won't take the Rob route or my route of shave, you know? No. Yep. <laughs> I've, I've got hair. I want to try to keep it, um, and I want to make it look okay, good. It as long as you can. Yeah. Um, I yeah. got my hair to pay off. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Is it just a hat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hillbilly <laughs> toupee. I've never heard that. It's hilarious. All right, and uh, after that, uh, we got a little bit of a uh, our our one shot is coming up this weekend, and that's going to be yep. on the fifteenth. Um, it's not going to cost anything for anyone because we, we couldn't get challenged to work with it or Ryan couldn't get challenged to accept anything. Yeah, it, it, it's, we had plans on making this, uh, tournament announced sooner, but I've been fighting with challenge tech support on trying to get the, uh, system to, to work again. And it, I finally just decided this is taking way too long and way too much of a headache. I'm just gonna make it a free tournament, so no prizing for this one. Um, so, but uh, Infinity Gauntlet is allowed, you know, and so uh, we are. If Infinity Gauntlet is not, we know it's not released everywhere. So, if you want to put Infinity Gauntlet on your team and you are needing a proxy for it, make a you know send out a ruling for at judge on the discord server and we will let you know whether or not you're you can uh you can proxy that or not um and normally we wouldn't allow that but we do understand the product isn't available to everyone yet but we want to be able to let people actually join to get uh practice for the UK Games Expo coming up, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. Yeah, and it um, turns out the tech support for uh, Challenge is the greased up deaf guy. You're never going to catch him um, <laughs> and, until you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, pro the the major issue is Challenge is actually a UK based company, and so that and they don't do any after hour support. And so I'm um, literally it's like once a day, I, you know, they'll ask a question, and I can reply next day. They ask the question and I can reply. And that's about as far as we can get in a single day. 
And so it's, uh, yeah, it, it's been making it a very painful on it. So, but with that said, I've already set up the next monthly one shot for September. Uh, that one, the payment system is working fine on that one. So we will be back to paid events with prizing for September. And as soon as we close out this monthly one shot, we will make that one public so people can sign up for it. And it's so uh, it it may be big, y'all. It may be big. September big September's one. gonna gonna be looking big, but the one that's gonna be big, I think, is the one after that. Mm -hmm. Well, before before we get to that one, right? We're, we're running through the sheet already. Yeah, we're almost <laughs> through the sheet. <laughs> <What's> the <last? laughs> Let's continue to talk about the one shot for Saturday. Mm -hmm. So uh, Saturday, we are allowing proxies. The one thing that I would say about proxy dice are if you're going to run a character um, that you're proxying for IAG, make sure that it, it, it is at least the same energy type just so that there's no confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, uh, I think that's the one thing that we would request that you do. Yeah, DM United uh, has up on their website a uh, a page for proxy for the infinity gauntlet set and there is a proxy eligible die for everything except typhoid mary typhoid mary is the only one that there's not a comparable die to proxy for it so uh if you do need to make a proxy and whatnot look on there make sure that the die that they have listed as a proxy for it that you do have that one and then reach out to us and you know validate that you can use a proxy so um yeah you know. yeah yeah um yeah make it as easy as possible for everyone and, and not confusing you don't want to run a fist character with the shield character die that just doesn't make sense it it's just unless you're running black out. adam and then all signs are off because <laughs> yeah, yeah he's got fist he's got bolts he's got every, what the hell's wrong with that guy it's like that <laughs> iron man right <laughs> yeah some questions well, that we got it, about the one shot. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, because he's listed as a fist in the purchase cost. He's mm -hmm. uh, his die has masks, but his icon on his shirt is a bolt. So every time I look at that card, my brain yeah. just goes, what the hell am I supposed to be using? <laughs> my brain keeps <laughs> wanting to go, oh, it's a bolt because there's a big freaking bolt on the card. No, it's sense. not that. Right. No, it's the mask at the bottom is what you're supposed to use, which doesn't make sense at all because he doesn't wear a mask and he's a big old brawler. Why are we, you know, he's not a sneaky guy or anything. This just doesn't make sense, but yeah. I digress. Sneaky guy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so some questions that we got um, with all of the one shots are when's the last day to sign up for the one shots? Uh, you can sign up for the one shots all the way up to the check-in, which is 30 minutes before the start time, right? So, uh, actually, up until the start of the event, even during the check-in process, you can sign up for it if there's an open spot. Mm -hmm. We do limit the spots in these tournaments so that they are quick and fast tournaments. So, yep. um, you know, we we don't want these to be four or five hour tournaments. We want these to be something real quick, real fast on, you know, kind of beginning of your Saturday, get it done. You, you know, you've got the rest of your Saturday afternoon and evening, you know, ready to go. So, um, cool. So you can sign up all the way till 12 yep. p.m. Central Standard Time, which is when we give the green light for the matches to start. Please be 35 minute rounds. Please don't do that, though. Try to sign up ahead of time just to make it easier on us. We'll allow you sure. to do that. Yeah. But you. Yeah, you know. as long as there's an open spot. Mm -hmm. You can do it, but, you mm -hmm. know, I would not wait, uh, you know, this time because there's, you know, short notice on it. There may be some spots, but future ones. That Makes may sense. not and probably won't be the case. So, yeah. yeah, for sure. It's best of one 35 minute rounds, free entry. Um, since we couldn't figure out the thing, there will be no prizing and proxy for IG only the thing. <laughs> We couldn't figure out the thing. Well, the thing didn't want to work for us. Yeah. To put it that way. Yeah. It wasn't us trying to figure it out. And proxies are allowed for IG only, and they must be approved by the judge. So one shot wrapped up. Nice little package. Sign up. Get your practice in um, for next month's one shot and all the big tournaments that are going to start popping up here soon. 
So because the UK time to get your practice in and UK yeah. Gaming's Expo is coming up next week after this yep. one. So that's another reason to get your work in. You don't have to pay anything to enter this tournament. And uh, I, uh, how it does it cost anything to do the UK Gaming's Expo, Ryan? No, UK Games Expo, as far as I, re I remember, is a free event as well. Um, and there is some uh, very, very nice pricing. Uh, look, uh, take a look at BritRoller6.com. Uh, they've got a nice, uh, beautiful article up there with a bunch of the pricing, some of which provided by us. Um, so yeah, take a look at it. Make a donation if you can. Yeah. Uh, because of the shipping costs and stuff like that. So if you can make a donation, but it's it's not uh, necessary. Yeah, it, it is a free event, but they uh, they would, you know, if possible, please make a donation, you know. Um, but so, yeah, we, you know, this event this weekend is kind of a precursor for UK's Game Expo next weekend. And um, uh, Dice Fight this week and next week are doing uh, Modern Competitive as a uh, precursor for UK Games Expo. So people can get some uh, nice. some matches in there as well. So plenty of reps uh, in. Yep. For sure. That's why we did it on the yard. Mike. Yep, three. That's about as many as you can do. That's right. <laughs> Watch out for the dementors. That. That's all. <laughs> oh, man. Is anyone anyone in chat going to be playing in any of those big tournaments? Ronathan, uh, Reg, I believe I, I believe Jonathan is, in is signed up for our uh, monthly one shot this weekend. And I believe Ooh. he is signed up for the uh, uh, for, for the UK Games Expo. So nice joseph i could be wrong on the one for this weekend i i i very quickly uh <laughs> i had I, I was taking a look while i was working with tech support on it because they wanted to delete the tournament to recreate it and they're like well there's some people registered for it and i'm like no then we're not deleting it i'm not gonna go through that headache so <laughs> let's not do oh, that Jonathan hasn't signed up for the uk one yet okay well there's still time what time yep, do they're up what, what time do they start UK Games Expo. Hold mm -hmm. on, let me pull that one up real fast so I I don't. Uh, Sorry to put you on the spot. You on that one. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Coming on. at you fast. <laughs> so that one uh, is set up for. Uh, looks like it is eight twenty two is the date and one okay. p.m. Central. Okay. So one p.m. Central standard time. Yep. Yep, 1,300 hours of uh, central time zone is what it shows, so. So, right. okay. I, I have to work on Saturday, so this this for, this, this upcoming one-shot is going to be a nightmare for me, but I'm going to be able to do it. That's going to make it a little bit more leeway for me to do it for a uh, live stream for the UK Gaming Expo. So we'll, we'll try to have as much coverage as we can for that, yep. as much as they'll let us be there and we're here as a, uh, yep. someone to help out, so. Yeah, I mean, I'll be helping sure. out on the back end for any technical issues that they might have uh, and whatnot. Now, and just like nor uh, our events, they do a 30 minute check in beforehand. So 1230 Central for check in on that one. Um, and like I said, they're up to 20 players and they are doing it as a Swiss event. I don't remember if it's uh, best of one or best two out of three, uh, but I don't believe they're going to do any top cut on it either. So. <laughs> They're the ones that started the whole entire everyone just playing Swiss and having a day yeah. of it. Yeah, they they were the big uh, big proponent for that one. And uh, for live events, I'm not a big fan of that. For online events, because of the extra time that they take, I I'm a bit more of a fan of doing it for online events. Yeah, you know. I mean, it kind of just makes more sense. It's more of an internet kind of or a, a online play kind of format for everyone yeah. that everyone's used to. Otherwise, it takes a week to get one match in because that's how we traditionally do it. And um, I'm not saying we're the standard for everyone, but that's that's how people are used to doing is playing it as comfortably as possible and having a whole entire day where, yes, you may get an hour in between uh, the the Swiss and then top cut. That's still it's it's so well, it's, so it, long. It's a lot easier to dedicate a day to playing a game if you can leave your house, go somewhere and you sit there and you're not yeah. you know, you don't have your family going, oh, yeah. hey, dad, can you help with this? Or, hey, you know, you don't have all, all that stuff because you're not there at the house. When you're at the house, it's hard to sit here and, you know, go, OK, I'm going to be gaming for nine hours sitting in.
from my computer. Everyone leave me alone. So, it doesn't happen very easily, you know? So it's easier to hide your slacking off at a location than it is online? Yes. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that was ever in question. <laughs> and especially if you're traveling to somewhere, you want to spend as much time there playing those games as possible. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so, you know, like if you're traveling to Memphis for Worlds, you don't want to play for three hours and then go back to your Airbnb and just hang out and watch YouTube for the next 10 hours. I don't know. That uh, sounds you lovely. Be, <laughs> you want to be at the event playing for 10 about. hours you know, or, or hanging out only at, three hours back at the Airbnb sleeping and watching YouTube or, or hanging out in a bar sitting next to your best friend as he drinks it. I just look into his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally unrelated. Or but... in Memphis, I mean, you could go out from Memphis tamales. Oh, great stories about Memphis tamales. Um, <laughs> one day, Mike, you will try some Memphis tamales. <laughs> or, or it could be like you, where you just sat there for like so long at one place, just like making sure everything ran right on the uh, little stream deck. Oh my god. Um, I didn't say anything. Yeah, Ryan, not say anything oh, no, for a long I said time. Quite a bit. I just didn't. No oh, one could he? hear me. So. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. That's what it was. Um, Real quick, let me go ahead and just interject. Um, If you're watching um, on Twitch right now, or if you're watching uh, watching this back on YouTube, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a little bar. It's probably going to be over there or over here. I don't know which corner is going to be on the screen. Somewhere. Um, But we are trying to reach a follower goal of 100 for uh, this month. So if you could, if you're not following us, go ahead and give us a little, click the little heart. Click the little bell for notifications. If you're watching us on YouTube, uh, just click the link in the description uh, to go to Twitch and give us a follow if you could. We'd really appreciate that. Well, mm-hmm. uh, we really want to try to get to that 100 goal for the month. And it doesn't cost you anything. That's all. It just uh, lets you know. Nothing. Yeah. Smash the show. And unlike DM North, North is where it's at. Yeah, and unlike DM North, we we're not happy with the number we have and don't want it to change. We want some more coming in. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ronathan. One day when I make it out to Los Angeles, I'm gonna eat all the foods. Mm. You know, we're down here in Texas. Mike's in Ohio, but Chris, Ryan, and I are, are in Texas, and uh, so we have all the good, you know, the Mexican. We've food. got Tex Mex. Yeah, we've got some good tamales like and stuff like that. Yeah, Tamale, yeah, it's so. Good. That's the last time you guys were over. You know, I finally I, I got you guys some oh. of those uh, gas station tacos. <laughs> they were pretty good. Pretty Gas station good. tacos are so good. Oh yep. man, usually are. Yeah, there's some really good taco places over here by the clubs, um, the discotheques, um, <laughs> and uh, they're really delicious. At three o'clock in the morning, where everyone's drunk outside trying to sober up. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's seven days a week for the next three weeks. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's harsh. Immigrated from Waterloo, okay. El Paso. Oh man, that's awesome! Cool, 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 cool. That's really cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. So you're eating that good food, then? That good, good. Uh, tell your wife I hope she gets uh, some nice rest while she's not working, because that's a horrible schedule. True and that. I feel bad for telling you to send her to work. <laughs> Jeez, I'm the asshole. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rob's comments and concerns are not that of the CRK Room channel. <laughs> Yet I'm again. glad you had to say that for someone else and not me. Finally, <laughs> yeah. we did it on a live stream one time. Oh man, yeah, about me. So that happened. Oh man, uh, good time. So sign up for the UK Gaming's Expo. Let's <laughs> allow that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the UK Gaming's Expo, everyone's trying to um, have a good show of that, so it's going to be on Twitch as much as it possibly can. Ross is planning to stream it. We're planning on streaming it. Uh, DM North is planning on streaming it, and there might be a few other ones. Um, TJ is probably going to stream it. Uh, Friday He'll Night Clicks. He'll probably stream his, actually match it, his actual yeah. matches. So, yeah. so the, we might try to get a document together so everyone can see who's all streaming it or whatever, but, I mean, we're, we're not trying to tell anyone where to go or anything like that we're just saying if you want to see dice masters on the on this weekend yes you'll be able to see it and next weekend quite a lot uh, for the uk gaming expo so check out twitch for that i know a lot of people stream there so a lot of great dice master stuff coming from your favorite content creators check them out give them a follow yeah 
And if you like goofy oh, commentary, Ronathan's gonna be streaming. Say, oh, nice. Um, yeah, if you like goofy commentary that's probably bad and from bad players, definitely listen to us. <laughs> yeah, if We're you the want... place to be for bad commentary and uh, all that good stuff. Bad takes on the game. <laughs> <laughs> bad takes on the game. Bad takes in general, especially yeah. me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, UK Gaming's Expo coming up big time. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What else we got? The big one. Um, the biggest of ones. So um, has Jordo announced his Canadian thing? No. no. So what? No. What you're saying is nothing right now. Nothing. No, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Do not. Do not listen to the uh, other bald man below me. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about hockey. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, no. All right. No. Something that we have already somewhat okay. announced, and we actually have this person here that's. We're all behind putting this on, but Ryan, as you know, Ryan is the main person. When it comes to putting on tournaments in our channel, we help him out as much as we can, but Ryan's the one that really puts on the tournaments, and we try to make it as easy for him as possible. So we decided that we should make it as hard as we could and do uh -huh. something in October. <laughs> so, yep. Ryan, you want to say what's up? <laughs> so, as we all know, we had planned, uh, and I say we, the community had planned on having... Dice Masters Worlds in Memphis on October 11th. Uh, 9th through the 11th. Uh, yeah, 9th through the 11th for the whole event. 11th itself specifically was going to be the world's event. Uh, but due to global pandemic and circumstances, WizKids has decided, in my opinion, rightfully, you know, to cancel the event. In lieu of that, we have decided we are going to pick up the slack. So instead of our normal monthly one shot, we're going to go one weekend earlier. So the exact same day, October 11th, we will be running. Yeah. Or sorry, it's 10th. Is it 10th? You're right. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so yeah. 10, 10, 20. We mm -hmm. will be running virtual worlds. As such, we will be putting some pricing on the uh, up for this. Uh, We've gone through, uh, of course, you, you've seen the video that we got of the, the very generous prizing WizKids sent to us for uh, tournaments like this. And we are scra you know, scratching into that and pulling stuff out. And the list I have now is not the complete list. We are still working on possible others. So some of this may change. But this is at least the bare minimum prizing that we're talking about right now. So we will be prizing for the full top eight um, on this. So if you are in the top eight, you will be getting the Melinda May Alt Art and uh, Alt Art and Sketch with Die, the Terry McGinnis uh, Alt Art and Sketch with Die, and the Strahd Alt Art Sketch and with Die. You will be getting a so I don't have a painted one, but a CRGR token die. I don't know how well these are showing up on here. Mike's got a good one there that's painted. Um, and you will be getting the CRGR basic action indicator set. So you want to flip those around to the other side, Mike, or is it just well, one? He already has them. Oh, yeah, okay. A... All right. My bad. I'm an idiot. All right. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the, the two cards provide all four colors you, you would need for basic action indicators. Uh, when this current batch of cards that we have runs out for those colors, we're not redoing those colors. We're going to come out with cards for four new colors and start doing those. So uh, I know new colors. Yeah. Well, no, they've come out with plenty of colors. <laughs> we don't need to invent new colors. Ryan, so, you say that. I don't know. That do that doesn't sound accurate. <laughs> well, so that's, that's currently what we're looking at for top eight. For top four, you, of course, get everything that's in the top eight. You also will get the Loki alt art, the Guy Gardner alt art, the Cobalt alt, alt art, the Squirrel Girl Civil War promo with die and token card, the Belafoss Farron Under Siege promo with die, and a set of indicator tokens made by Reg from DM North. And for those of you that don't know, that is the that tokens knows. like these that come on poker chips. So we're, you know, to show captured or blanked or things like that. So uh, yeah, cool. you'll be getting the 
it'll be five token or five chips with a token on both sides. So ten different tokens included in that. What's up, Jazzy? What's up, Mel? Hey, Mel. So now we go into top two. So again, it's the all previous prizing from the oh, top four good. and the top eight. You will get the Blink alt art, the Oracle alt art, the Human Paladin alt art, a random Infinity Gauntlet super rare, and a set of five of the X-Men animated series promos, all of them except for Jubilee. We, we, we don't have extra Jubilees to give away. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so... <laughs> that's still pretty amazing. Those alt it, art uh, X Men, and that uh, that's top two. Mm -hmm. So top two sets two, of so. those are being given away. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the grand prize. You win the event. You get all of that. You also get the Hulk Green Goliath uh, alt art, the Mister Mixelplex alt art, the Magic Missile alt art, and guys, drum roll. You get one of the premier edition play mats. So, dude, well, I'm going to play in the virtual worlds, guys, and I need you all to let me win so I can get all these things because <laughs> we don't get any of this prize support for ourselves at all. all for, for no participants. That's all. So uh, if y'all can just like give me the buy all the way through and then let me win, I'll be happy. <laughs> and there, like I said, there's possibly going to be more in there. I just that that's out of that one box that they sent us. I, I'm still having to go through all my own personal previous stuff that I have to see what else I can throw in there. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. the, the Infinity Gauntlet Super Rares, that's not sent from WizKids. That's out of my extras. I'm putting them in there, you know, yeah, because I want to make it worthwhile. I want something more current in there, you know, for people. So, yeah, we're, um, we're trying to blow this out, like make it big for everyone and see it. We're trying, you know, this is amazing. You know, we're we're. I'm working some wheeling and dealing on on some trades, seeing if I can get some other stuff going on here. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. I can't uh, can't say much more. You're gonna want to win this. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, believe us when we say you, you're gonna want to win it. Period. And just some some details that we've we've ironed out. Um, it's gonna be on the tenth. Yeah. It will be modern. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a best two out of three Swiss with no top cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, we just went over the pricing and uh, it will be pay to play. Yep. Yeah. Right. We, I, okay. we, we are. It is going to be pay to play. We are not exactly sure on the pricing right this second. Um, mm -hmm. We, you know, we're uh, we've got some What's ideas, but we want to we want to see how the. Uh, the next payout goes as far as for the next event, uh, the September monthly one shot, just to get a little better idea, you know, of what the actual shipping costs of things is going to be and whatnot. So, yeah. um, especially with that much pricing going out <laughs> and yeah. what we, it's what Ryan has actually. working in the background also. Yeah. We don't know how much is going to be to enter because I mean, Prizing is still uh, up. Yeah, now, it yeah. will be decided. The prizing will be finalized before the event uh, sign-up starts. Before the official announcement. We're probably going to do a video for it. Yeah, but, you know, that is bare minimum. Yeah. We're just going to be adding more on to it. Yeah. So um, we will be making the, uh, the actual tournament available for that. Uh, I'll say probably in a couple of weeks where you know, we're going to let UK Games Expo and things like that get, you know, get passed before we make that one available for sign up and possibly another yeah. one somewhere sometime. I don't know when. But yeah, yeah, possibly. I mean, we're it's it's ways out there. Yeah. We're, you know, but, you know, we we we, we want to start beating the drums on this one now. So, um, you know, we have not uh, gotten any official response back from WizKids on this. And but... we probably won't. <laughs> I've I've sent them emails. I've I've said, hey, you know, I know we worked with you for with uh, you know, the the uh, Rolling Thunder guys for you know the U.S. Nats replacement. We'd like to do something similar with you guys again for you know for Worlds replacement. You've already sent us plenty of prizing. We're just one you know to to kind of be official. Let us know, but no matter what, we're doing it anyways. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. You know, uh. And we're doing this because we know that people want to play and people we knew a lot of people that were like, oh, we're going to go to the worlds and we're going to be able to like hang out with you guys and this that, and the other. And it's like this is our way to be like, yeah, we wanted that, too. In fact, I took a week and a half off to make sure that I, I could go there and not be exhausted at work after coming back. So we wanted this and we wanted to do this. And this is something that we've kind of had in the works ever since the everything started happening because we we're like oh god hope it doesn't happen to worlds because we all planned around going to that right. and everything now like and that. that that said you know this is a modern competitive event that we're talking about for this one mm -hmm. usually when you go to a world's event there's also the popper the 1010 the golden things like that we haven't discussed if we are or are not going to run events of that nature on other days but it's possible yeah. Some might even say probable, <laughs> you know, um, and there would be <laughs> prizing for those events. Now, not this level of prizing, but mm -hmm, there would sure. be some, you know, some of this prizing would, you know, prize, similar prizing would be put towards those events as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we, we are trying to get as close as we can to a world's event online as we can. And my personal hope is that that means multiple days of multiple style events. Yeah. You know, and hopefully we can just, have some Memphis tamales also to send everyone out. Some of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I, I think that might be, if you, uh, if you win the golden age event, that's going to be the uh, prize that goes out. To <laughs> Don't, you promise that. Don't promise that. Don't promise that. No one will ever play golden again. <laughs> golden age event. <laughs> My master plan has been revealed. For all the paper wrapped tamales <laughs> that you can handle. <laughs> uh, so a golden age event does sound yeah, you will that's exactly what happened, Ronathan, for sure. It was it was bad. We didn't we even try it and we could tell. <laughs> yeah. It was not good. Me and Robert knew. It didn't look good for our heroes. I knew. Yeah, you know, um, being Hispanic and seeing those tamales, I was like, those don't look right. Man. Yeah, as I was walking up <laughs> to him, you right seen right. that commercial where they uh, the one guy holds the other one back, like, no, 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 you know, you can't talk to the women like that. That's what Rob did to me as I was walking up to the tamales. He's like, no, man. And I was like, all right. Yeah, and unfortunately, those guys, you know, they they went home earlier than than I was able to. I was still, you know, having to you know stream matches, so I had no one to stop me. <laughs> when I went up to the tamale stand, all I had was Ben said Scott standing next to me going, what's a tamale? And I'm like, oh, man, come on, let's go get tamales. This is a version of tamales. <laughs> Not the best representation of tamales, but it so is I a version. I know at that point. All I know is a food truck selling tamales. <laughs> Where I'm from, a, a food truck selling tamales are usually good tamales. That's not, yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Not so much. You're but you're in Memphis land. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I'm 13 hours streaming at that point. My brain was a little rattled, okay? <laughs> I forgot what I who I was. I forgot you where I was. Your better judgment. <laughs> I I had Memphis. You should have just got Crystal Burger like me and you would have been fine. I mean, I at least Ross has the excuse of not being from Texas and not knowing any better. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> <That's a good> <laughs> <point>. <laughs> you knew, Ryan. You knew. <laughs> no, I don't think Ross got any. I think it was uh, just Ben, Dan, That's and myself. That's even worse. That's even worse. Yeah. yeah, two two Texans, Dan and myself, got them. I mean, dang it, Dan. So, yeah, uh, Dan opened them up and just threw them right away. He's he like, "Nope, they're out. I'm not even trying them." Uh, <laughs> Let's order some pizza, guys. <laughs> Oh, that was when we ordered all the pizza, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, so, time. yeah, we're going to be trying to do this this virtual yeah. world thing, right? Um, this is our first time to do anything as hopefully big and massive as this is going to be. We've had lots of lots of run up well, to not it. Our, not our first time. Our first time doing it by ourselves. Yeah, yeah but we're calling it the world. Let's be honest. That's right. that's probably bigger than anything else that we've ever tried to do. I'm I'm hoping we can surpass the you know bench that uh, benchmark that was set with Earth X Origins. Yeah, 
We learned yeah. a lot on that. Ryan learned a lot on that. And we kind of just. We all learned. Yeah. Everyone involved yeah. learned with that one, whether you were a player and participated in the event, whether you were a judge in the event, whether you were a streamer of the event, whether you were, you know, a back end, you know, you know, person on this, you know, running the actual organizing the tournament. We all learned from that event. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was the first event of that scale in an online only format. Yeah. You know, and we learned a lot and we learned a lot of good things from that. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that we put them all to good use. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shoot, yeah. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I think that basically covers everything that we were going to be covering because we, I mean, we Robert put together the list five minutes before we went on because no one else did it. So thank you for Rob for yeah. at least having an outline yeah. for us. <laughs> so <laughs> well, the pricing I'd been working on for a yeah. while. The pricing wasn't you know last minute on that, but we yeah. didn't put an outline for the pricing. We just said Ryan, you just say what yeah, you want to say. Talk about pricing. Got it figured <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're probably going to try to get a list of uh, all the pricing that's going to be on and uh, possibly just have it there to be shown soon uh we're still working on getting everything together so we kind of want to have finalized pictures of everything that's going to be prizing to be able to show everyone so everyone can know what's up yep. so all right yep sure. i just need to get my little photo booth out and set up so i can get some good pictures of it so. <laughs> all right so um i guess that concludes that you do you guys want to do you want to just do wild card after that and just talk about whatever well, I, well, we, we talked about uk games expo right mm -hmm. yes we'll so, be talking about that again next week also by the way yep yeah so sure. um yeah I, Mike, give us something what'd who, you do on who? monday tell us about your stream on monday uh monday uh we'll play a little bit of cross swords from Mio geo uh did my best on that. That uh, game was hard, some... man. Uh, it was an interesting game. I actually want to play that through fruition to see how long of the game that really is. I mean, what, we got mm -hmm. like chapter four on that game? Um, I don't know. You died like a lot, that. and I heard it like, huh, 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 huh. what was that noise, Robert? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the... huh, huh. Something like, I can't even do it. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so good. <laughs> yeah. So the sound effects um, were a little on the... Um amateur side for, for yeah. most of the games well, I, the, I mean it, that was neo geo for the time and they were pumping out a lot of arcade though. games yeah mm -hmm. no it, it really looked good fun game and stuff like that you oh know, yeah no like, visuals were fantastic back just... then they made the recording stuff from back then i mean it really wasn't great for that kind of game especially when you're loading like three or four on the same machine the yeah, neo right. geo machines and stuff like that back end i mean you had a choice of like between two to four games on one machine so you're loading up right. those cartridges and I mean, not a whole lot of room so it's the yeah. same thing with the sprites on there i mean what you had maybe like 10 sprites and they just changed the color for the harder ones yep. <laughs> i think i say i fought the same worm like three four times different color uh, what was it a <laughs> one quarter run though mike no <laughs> yeah. it, was like, it was like a one paycheck right <laughs> 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 oh man yeah, how much was a neo geo back in the day like uh, 800 dollars yeah I mean, oh home no console of it was home home console expensive. neo geo ones just just to get the base unit was yeah. 800 dollars. that didn't include any controllers yeah what you had to buy oh, controller man. separately and it didn't come with any games you had to buy games separately and how games were at controller? least 150 each controllers yeah. i think were 30 or 40 dollars a piece yeah. Okay, that's not bad. But you're getting like the exact same thing you were getting in the arcade. That is yeah. bad. Hot, uh, thirty dollars for something that's like eight hundred dollars, and you have to buy thirty dollars for a controller to go along with it. That's terrible. That part's bad. Yeah, that part's bad. But a control yeah. for thirty bucks is yeah. Bad. But I mean, again, a hundred and fifty dollars for a game. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. I mean, like Mike said you're getting uh, you're basically getting the arcade. Oh no, you were getting point. the arcade machine at home everything minus the cabinet and the tv yeah. you had to supply your own tv yeah <laughs> you know i mean i i get it now now because i didn't know that much about neo geo other than it was expensive as fuck right. and i didn't like snk and i, I was like i like street fighter snk stupid but, <laughs> like, <laughs> i learned to like snk because we had a terrible like <laughs> yeah, so, so like uh i didn't know how much i knew it was expensive uh i didn't know anything about it but now that i know that it was basically a an arcade unit at home 
Yeah. It makes sense why it was so expensive. And if mm -hmm. I had the, the money, time. I probably would have got one. Yeah, well, well, you time, you literally, if, <laughs> if you knew someone who ran an arcade and they pulled one of the boards out from a Neo Geo cabinet, you literally could plug that card into your console at home. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's why the games were so expensive, is they literally were the exact same card. You know, the Neo Geo, the, the actual systems, I mean, they actually put them in plastic when they were inside the cabinet of the machine. So, mm. I mean, they were really fairly big parts to begin with. Yeah. You know, they it's literally just turned the motherboard cool. into a little more simplistic of a machine to work at your home and not with the specialized hardware. And there you go. And so that's why the games were so expensive. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And they had yeah. some really iconic games that came out of there too, like Metal Slug and Samurai mm -hmm. Showdown. Um, it's where you got like your art of fighting and World Heroes, and you start of like the, the King of Fighters series, you know, those characters mm -hmm. coming through. Was yeah. Samurai Showdown Neo Geo? Yeah. It was. Yes. Yeah. Samurai Showdown. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just re I remember it being at the gas, st at the gas station, at the, the laundromat. <laughs> And it would just go eep, boom like that, what? and that's when the match would fight start, and it was awesome. <laughs> well, that's yeah. Chris will, will let everybody uh, know, the, the minyards down the street. <laughs> so. Yeah, the <laughs> minyards down the street from me had one in the front lobby. Of I'd get off work, I'd walk across the street to the minyards, I'd pop some quarters in there. I'd usually have about four dollars worth of quarters, at, you know, that I'd get from work. Sit there, play for you know a while, and then leave there and walk home. Yeah. You know, and I used to do that about every night. Then they changed awesome. the machine out for Mortal Kombat. And, Ooh. you know, yeah, it's one of those, even in, you know, uh, Minyard's, you know, grocery store at, you know, 2 a.m., there were still multiple people lined up to play that stupid machine. Oh, man. It's, there was a 24-hour grocery store in Lima, Ohio, that I used to frequent a lot just to play Street Fighter. I used to know, the, like, the late-night cashiers pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> we That's used to awesome. play. Go ahead. Uh, we used to play at a gas station, uh, Allsup's or whatever, down the street from us. When me and when we lived in the trailer park in Dallas, uh, we used to just walk down to the uh, the gas station there, and me and my brother would just play Mortal Kombat too. He one one time got me out of school so we could go play because he didn't have anyone to go play with because he was he was out of school and everything like that. He was done with school, so he got me out of school. Uh, just told him some BS thing, and me and him went and played uh, Mortal Kombat two. Uh, two or three for like a couple hours it's kind of funny that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> what else did you get into back then? in the day was putting the quarter yeah, up on the machine getting next i got that next was the best. yep <laughs> i got next uh, I failed miserably at 1942 set two, <laughs> which I come to find out that is a harder version of that game. <laughs> yeah, because oh, <that laughs> it only had the, like the two guys and stuff like that that they had to, to go through the game. And so we upgraded to 1943 after that. <laughs> we played a little bit of that. You got the high score in like five minutes on that game. It was yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this was like the, the pain that 1942 was, especially at that second set. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but uh, and then I finished off with some. Uh, Black Dragon, so trying to work on my one quarter run of that game. See, I've only uh, like one quarter run one game, and that would have been Black Tiger. And yeah. hopefully, here's the Black Dragon. But uh, yeah, you the rest played of some time... Indiana Jones, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Indiana Jones. That yeah, game was I used to... hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I, Dr. I got... Jones, Dr. Jones. I got better at it as we got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it would yeah. punish you for not getting those paths right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was watching, I was like, why would anyone play this at the arcade? Like, <laughs> It just seemed so hard. I was like, I would be so mad if I spent a quarter on this. Like, I, would, I was getting frustrated watching you play it. I was like, oh, no. This is there was worst. a couple of times, but then I would start getting into my, I kind of got into a rhythm with that one. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, I kind of got this. <laughs> you know what it reminded me of? When you played Ghostbusters. It seemed like the oh. skin of Ghostbusters. Yeah. If you notice the same kind of sound effects too, yeah. there was a couple in there and stuff like that that were actually uh... the same from that real Ghostbusters one. <laughs> it did seem like a reskin. Right, kind of like that, you know. Then yeah. <laughs> you beating the shit out of people with whips and them not dying. My I God, did. how much punishment can they take? Arcade games back in the day and stuff like that. With every great arcade game that anybody can remember and stuff like that, there are some ones out there. It's just like, why? Yeah. Why <laughs> I can there's tell a lot you a of trash of out there. Oh God, yeah. There's one especially <laughs> that they used to play on Starcade, which was like an old arcade game show used to watch back in the '80s, but it was called Munchmobile. This game is horrible. 
horrible. When they used to give that away as a prize, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm good y'all can keep it like i just yeah. came for the experience uh, oh, that, that surprised yeah. no i'm out <laughs> yeah, yeah funny. uh amatar uh, amadar is another one that's kind of an interesting kind of game like that uh zookeeper uh one of these times i'm on the arcade i will actually do like a starcade follies which is kind of like those arcade games it's like why <laughs> it's like why is this a thing <laughs> yeah oh man um and then <laughs> Rob, uh, what did you do this week uh, on Twitch without anyone else while I was working? Uh, couple, well, <laughs> since we last did a live Shame. stream, um, <laughs> I did an unboxing of Modern, mo no, Double Masters. Oh, yeah. Um, if y'all caught that, you probably saw the big giant tears that just came down my face. You got wrecked. Three hundred and fifty dollars on a box of cards and not getting nearly my value back out of it. Oh, so he's not bitter. Point. Not bitter at all. <laughs> I didn't get anything that I wanted out of that thing. I got a couple of things, but not the pieces that I wanted. So it was very, very sad. You got sad more. Panda. You got better things off of uh, individual packs just buying at the store. Than you did. Yeah, there. I went and bought some packs today, and I ended up getting like a handful of things that I actually wanted. I got more value out of the packs that I bought than I did out of the box, which is ridiculous. Um, so I did that. That's that's up on YouTube as well. If you want to check it out and see how bad it was, um, you can listen to Joe organize his dice in the background uh, <laughs> on that one. Um, and then also, I just I started streaming Tetris, Tetris 99. That's so, so awesome. yeah, it's fun, man. It's really fun. Uh, I've I've always enjoyed Tetris. Tetris is probably one of my favorite games. <laughs> yeah dude magic is so expensive i wasn't gonna do it and then i i decided to because i was bored that's what happens when i'm bored. um <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus pre like, please pass so rob can save money <laughs> please get out of here coronavirus i can do something constructive um but yeah i was like oh it'll make for good uh for good content right um so yeah oh yeah we played fall guys fall guys, is awesome. fall guys. Might, do again this. might do it tomorrow actually i i Friday. yeah i don't know Ross yeah. wants to play with us. Oh, um, yeah! My yeah, son's been is so addicted to it; it's not even funny. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, Dad, I have that Xbox controller, and I really hate the fact that it's corded to my computer. Can I get a you know Bluetooth adapter? And I was like, Well, what game are you playing? He's like, Fall Guys. Like, <laughs> you said you were only gonna like play it occasionally. He's like, Shut up. <laughs> take my money and buy me this. <laughs> That's funny. It's so good. Take my money. It, it's, it's so it's good. Kind of addicting. Yeah. yeah. Mal says she wants to play too. We'll have Who's to. That? Oh, Mal. Oh, we'll have to have you on, and we'll we'll play soon. Um, I've been playing here and there after when everyone's going to bed, and I finally got my first win when everyone else logged out, and I was just playing by myself, just looking at the screen, and I won, and I had to take a screenshot because otherwise there's no proof of it because it doesn't have your stupid name on it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you're talking to a champion here. Don't, don't know if you know this, but, uh, yeah, I, I won one yeah, game. Yeah, my son did that too, though, so, yeah. you know. Oh, well. Yeah, you're not special. <laughs> it was a tail you're grab. Not a you're, not, <laughs> you're not a beautiful we and unique love you. <laughs> um, but I'll be doing, I'll be doing Tetris more often, honestly. Uh, I got the camera set up, so, uh, I think the last ones I did, I did not have a camera just because I really didn't feel like hanging up the green screen behind me yeah but uh i'll do it more often i'll have myself in the corner you'll just see me concentrating uh mike was there with me yesterday um and i was not really talking that much i had to go like this to look at the screen and then check the I, chat because i get into it man. Work. <laughs> yeah <laughs> no you're great man thank you for doing that uh, uh, I, I think the best i did was second or third you, did I get you came third? in second i think you said third Third, 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 you, uh, your last okay. point, the, like your last, well, close to your last game and stuff like that, you were able to make it in the third. The night before yeah. you I mean, came in second. Like that top yeah. 10, except for maybe uh, three games, I think two in the top 20, within yeah. the top 20, yeah. and then a couple of just like blips and stuff like that. Stinkers. Games, yeah, where like, they just wrecked me. Yeah. Got wrecked. But I don't even remember those. It, it goes on the time when, it, like after you do a deep run, when you get to like second or like within the top five, and then you go back to playing normal Tetris. It it's it slowed down so much that it's hard to play for you. Slow is what you said. Yeah, it is. Thanks for hanging out I'm with us, Ronathan. Just stuff. All right, Ronathan. Always a pleasure, man. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for stopping support. on by, man. We'll Ooh. see you Saturday. Yeah. Have a good dinner, man.
Um, but yeah, slow motion, it's amazing, it's fun. So I'll be doing more of that, hopefully here soon. Slow motion for you. Slow motion I for you. Watching. Yeah, it's, it's a blast to watch you play. I, the best I could got is like somewhere in the 30s. Uh, that's <laughs> and that still was good, like the man. Best. <laughs> that's the upper 50%. You're doing good. Yeah. Like it. I think the best I've ever done, and it was like I was playing out of my mind, I think I got 16 or 17. And I like to say I did really? better, but no, I think that was it. <laughs> uh, and. Was it. That was the peak. <laughs> well, it was me like flipping because I was like about to die. And so I just started flipping my thing to just try to last longer, last longer, last longer. A few people got dropped out. And then I was like, OK, I can die. I could die now. Uh, yeah. So I did the uh, cheapy kind of way. <laughs> if you if y'all watch me play, you'll see me do that move plenty of times. <laughs> Especially when you get to the like the top 15. Oh, my God. You have to at certain points because otherwise it's like. Um, that's gonna go in a spot where I don't have a place for it. Uh, I need to get it all the way to the other side. Flip, 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 flip. It just goes. gets in there. Yeah. Yep. Works every single time. Sixty percent of the time, it works all of the time. We we tried to stream Fall Guys, but it crashed. Like it crashed. The internet crashed for me. Uh, turns out, it turns out it was the internet in the area. Fall Guys servers. Yeah. Well, no, my internet went out. Oh, okay. So, so you will have to do it again. Yeah. Um, Fall Guys is so much. F Rob didn't think he was going to like it. He was like, yeah, I didn't think I would. Yeah, whatever. And then we start playing it and he's like, OK, all right. Yeah, I, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, man. Yeah. And I'll mic some Street Fighter. So we got to play some Street Fighter here soon. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm ready to go. You can download uh, it, now, but it costs $20. Yeah. 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 If you have it on, Other if you have that, a PlayStation, it's free. But you can't play with people on the PC if you play on the uh, PlayStation. Ah, boo! Oh. Yeah. Not like me, you can go play with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Touch beep beep. <laughs> um. All PC. So yeah, we're we're gonna be trying to do it. We may be doing some F and M this this Friday. Or we may do some Fall Guys. I don't know. Just depends on how we're feeling. I think we did Fall Guy Friday this past Friday. Um, yeah, and uh, we literally stretched out all our Magic videos for two weeks. Yeah, on accident. <laughs> last time we did it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just, I just finished up uh, one today that I did um, for a a deck that I was that I've been running just for funsies. So. Um, I'll have that out. I actually got the camera set up and everything with me talking in the middle of the game. Right. Maybe not that entertaining because I'm by myself, but you know, I'll figure it out as I go. It'll just get better, hopefully. So I want to see them play too. Street Fighter also, Carl. I want to see them play each other also. I've seen it. It's a bloodbath most of the time, but every once in a while, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really good. Uh, it's still fun. Mike puts up more of a fight than I could ever do, so there's that. Um, yeah. Then we Chris, I would just beat the crap out of him every single time. That way he'll learn. Yeah. Not to be coming around here. There's been talks from Joe saying that, you know, I'll I'll come in there and I'll do really well against you, Rob, but uh haven't heard a date set for that. I don't know. Joe thinks he can beat me at Street Fighter. I'm not good. I'm not like great at Street Fighter. I'm just decent. I feel like there's well, people that are way better. Yeah. I mean we'll we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh, especially uh right. when you're playing and he'll come in and be challenged if he says he could uh, do well against you. He's like, all right, ju jump in, jump in. Put your quarter down, bro. Put yeah, your quarter down. Come on, bro. <laughs> I don't even yeah, make maybe, a comment. I would I'll, say maybe we need to do that as the emote. Uh, you know, the next emote we ooh, put on the uh, server ooh, on the Discord is a quarter one. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I'll make it a Texas tomorrow. quarter, a Texas quarter from one of the uh, states anniversary thing. I don't think you can get them with that fine a detail that you can tell what states on it, but sure. <laughs> All right, Ryan. So the background I've been also. Oh, sorry. I, I'm a peacock. Let me fly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Mike? Oh, uh, in the background and stuff like that. Hopefully, on one of the my Monday Night Arcade streams and stuff like that, I've been working on playing uh, Dragon Slayer, Dragon Slayer, and Dragon Slayer Two. So I'm oh. looking forward to bringing that here. Um, yes. Carl. The thing is, um. They don't own the same Street Fighter games at all. They uh, remote play together. That's an awesome little thing on Steam that they allow you to 
play other people's games with certain ones. Uh, that's how me and Mike play Cuphead, actually. He remotes into my Cuphead game, and we play together. Mike doesn't actually own Cuphead on, stream, yeah. on Steam. That's the only way to play multiplayer Cuphead on, on Steam. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I remote into Mike Street Fighter 4. He remote, remotes into my anniversary collection, and we just have a good time like that. Yeah. So, so that's, that's kind of a cool thing, because you don't have to buy the game. Yeah. yeah. And respectively, now you still need a controller. There, you know, oh, yeah. There's no, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you could try to play Street Fighter with your keyboard, and it's the worst thing ever. Right, it's just like people playing Dead so or was it Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people have played that with the uh, uh, the the bongos from uh, Donkey Kong Country, yeah. and it's like you pe like people have a hard time yeah, playing that game. Than, yeah, <laughs> that game's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my controller is a rock candy Xbox 360 controller that I've had for about 10 years. Yeah, Ryan has a really fucking stupid one. Um, Mike. Yeah. Oh, there's my second one for player two. I can't Wait, pull up my XRK. The thing's heavy and I gotta get up and stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then for when I'm playing other games. Yeah, yeah. I love that controller. So, yes. no, we don't have really fancy controllers. Most of us don't. Robert didn't have a, an X arcade controller. Yeah. It's just yeah. a pain. Hon honestly, those <laughs> controllers weren't that expensive. <laughs> I built them. So, you know, okay. you, if, if you're willing to buy the DIY kits and assemble them yourself and whatnot, They're you can get them pretty cheap. Relatively speaking. Or you can get a used controller that's super cheap. Yeah. Yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're at the hour. We're a little bit over an hour just to do a real quick recap championship round for the two team takedown is this week. Saturday is the one shot one shot. It is free. Uh, it starts at 12. You can sign up until 12 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. Best of one 35 minute rounds. Uh, there is no prizing. Proxies are allowed, but they are they must be approved by a judge in our discord. Um, for Infinity Gauntlet only. For for Infinity Gauntlet only. Um, virtual Worlds, CR Game Room presents Virtual Worlds on October 10th, 2020. will be a modern event. Best two out of three Swiss. No top cut. Uh, we went through all the prizing. If you go back and watch the video, it's around the 30-minute mark where we discuss that. It will be a pay-to-play. We're working on that. Also, the UK Games Expo is next weekend. Sign up play it's going to be a great time for everybody there's also some more big tournaments coming down the pipeline we do have another one shot next month which will be a pay to play event um that will have some great prizing as well so uh again if you're not following uh click follow and click the little bell to get notifications if you're watching on youtube as a vod uh click the link in the description to come to our twitch channel and follow us we're trying to get to 100 this month uh, I don't know what we're at, 56 or something like we're that. We're nowhere 58, close. 58, it looks like. Yeah. 58, so we, we got a little ways to go. Um, so help us out. Uh, it is free, completely free. You don't have to pay to do any of that. Yeah. So uh, that would greatly be appreciated. And uh, I don't have anything else, guys. I'm done. That's Thanks. a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you nothing for me. I'm good. N nothing for me. Mike, you got anything coming up on stream that you want to say you're going to be doing or no? No, I mean, All right. Monday stuff. All right, <laughs> you guys gonna do a cuphead on Monday? Try to finish yeah. it off finally. Well, let's Probably. not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we're we're gonna try to do some stuff on cuphead. <laughs> You're gonna play cuphead and whatever happens. Just happens. frustration. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boss that we had so much trouble with that we just quit and went to another boss that we had trouble with, and we beat it finally. So let's calm down. We may beat a boss on Monday. <laughs> all right, all right. Awesome. We'll try. Yeah. All right. All right. Everyone, thanks uh, Thanks for watching. Um, see you guys later. Bye. Bye. That's going to wrap things up for us here in the CR Game Room. Check out our website, crgr.rocks, for all our latest info. There you'll find a link to help support us via Patreon. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join our conversations on Discord. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for hanging out.